Hello again, everybody. Close for I7 here, because you're back in Pokemon Center, right here in Lavender Town. I say it's time to go ahead and explore around for a little bit. We got a few extra blues to go look around here. We got Lavender and Volunteer Pokemon House. Let's see what we got in here. Why is there no one in this? That's odd. Mr. Fuji's in here. Where'd he go? I don't know. Really, this is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. Looks after abandoned and orphan Pokemon. That's nice of him. What do you got to say? It's a warm Pokemon. It's so nice to hug. That's a uh, Psyduck. Psyduck. Guapa. Guapa. Clearly, what a Psyduck says. I mean, come on. Hmm. So I was known as the graveside of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. That's really sad, honestly. Like, this whole town has a really sad ambience around it. And, I don't know, like, the music is kind of a bit haunting. So we have Pokemon Tower right here. Pokemon Tower, you can't find Pokemon in it. But not for the first two floors. Not until you hit the third floor, you're going to find anything. What we got right here is our rival battle. Let's go and take care of this real quick. Hey, Sai, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive. I can at least make them think. Let's go. That's, that's kind of mean, Gary. Like... All places make a joke like that. I feel like this is one of the places you shouldn't be doing that. But whatever. A Pidgey! Oh no! Oh no! That's level 25! Ah! He could attack me. He did damage to me this fight. That's why I fight. He didn't do any damage to me. He's getting smarter. He knows how to use priority moves now. I thought that's going to save him much here against my level 45 blast toys. But you know, he tried. I can give him credit for trying at least. Got an Ivysaur here, which normally would be an issue, but I'm high enough level where I just don't care. Razor Leaf! He's gonna do more damage to me! Oh my gosh! That was critical hit too. Super effective, and he still barely did damage to me. Okay, what's next? Ah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over what you can find in here at a later point, because, excuse me, because simply we can't do anything right now, and, well, let's see, we can't go any higher. Well, technically we can right now, but you can't get to the story in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this battle out of the way with my rival, and then afterwards we're going to head on over and continue the story of what we need to do by heading off to our left onto Route 8, and from there we'll figure out what else we can do, because there's nothing we can do right now. I think Gary tells us that we can't continue on any farther anyway, so let's see what that finds. Wow, Gyarados gets a lot of experience, my gosh. Like, Gyarados on the flick always gives a ton of experience. Double Intimidate, no way! Water Pulse. Sorry, Growlithe. I like you at all, but I mean, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. I just do a lot of damage. So, yeah. A uh, Kadabra! Abra Kadabra Alakazam! I was figure out for, like, Alakazam and, uh, Graveler and whoever else is a train evolution, like, uh, Gengar. I'm debating just, like, giving them a level up at the point where they evolve at that level. Instead of having to trade, because they can't trade. But, you know, took it easy on you. Sure you did, but you can't take it easy on me. I just woke up coming. I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger man. Where could they be? But there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. I'm like you. Explain later. Excuse me, that's just mean. Let's imagine if we'll find a Cubone with a Marowak. Well, I guess I don't think he's a Marowak, but like the larger evolution, which is Marowak, which he can't currently find. So, unfortunate for him, but I know where one is. You can't catch one anywhere. That's just, that's just how it is. So yeah, we're gonna do head on out of here. We can't do anything else in the tower right now. Over to Route Eight. We got a couple of new Pokemon we can find on this route, which is um, we got Pidgey and Meowth, which are like the old guys. What's a cute round? Of, what's a cute round of fluffy Pokemon? Uh, Jigglypuff, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, on this route you can find uh, Pidgey and Meowth, both at thirty percent, which are like the returning encounters which you have on every route normally. And then we got version exclusive stuff again. We have Echoes and Sandshrew, Echoes and Fire Red and Sandshrew in uh, Leaf Green, both of 20%. And the last 20% is going to be Vulpix and Growlithe. So I need two new Pokemon on this route. Uh, you can find Vulpix 20% of the time in Leaf Green and Growlithe 20% of the time in Fire Red. So we're going to be finding a uh, Vulpix here. No Growlithe showing up on this route, no crazy encounter rates. Um, what I decided to do is most of the routes written left in the game where you can find like one type of Pokemon or the other, depending on which game, it's normally comes from uh, routes pairs of two. Like Route 7 and 8 have almost the exact same encounter rates. And then, like, later on, I think, like, Route 11 and 12 and then 13 and 14 or something like that are all exactly the same. So I'm like, I just switched stuff around there so we can find what we're supposed to be able to find. I thought like they should have done that originally, but they didn't for whatever reason. So, yeah, it's kind of irritating, but whatever. An old man here. Hello. I'm a rambling gaming dude. Why didn't I turn to face him? Don't you normally turn to face him after he talks to you? Whatever, that was weird. A gamer rich would like to battle. A Growlithe. I am so surprised by this turn of events. I've never seen you, an older guy who was a growl before. So if you intimidate, get out of here. I probably should have healed, but I mean, do I, do I really care? No. 
I'm just gonna one shot everything anyway. So whatever. Yeah, original point in the story where there's a lot of branching paths you can go off and do and just wander around for a while. And I have to come up to one of the funnest points of the day, in my opinion, is like where you have the most stuff to do. Like we have the game corner coming up and get involved with Team Rocket pretty soon, which I think is always fun. I love messing around with Team Rocket and going through their hideout and all that fun stuff. Because they're crazy. I need to teach them some sense. Also, 46 now, yay! Missed the big chance. Yep, you did. So much gold, my gosh. I love how you go, dude. They give you so much gold. Alright, so this is our patch of grass on this route here. Chidang, you was cut! Go! Yay, Chidang, good job. So we got crush grass here, can find a couple things. Got a Lepa berry. You can see multiple berry spots in here. I can see like three off the top of my head. Raspberry right there, and, and what else we got? Got a lumberry, alright. So what, I got the berries here that you can find. I'm gonna cut ahead and find a growlith real quick. Be right back. Hey, I'm dumb. It's not a growl, it's the Vulpix. Silly me. I'm just too used to Fire Red where I just find Growlithe, so I'm like, hey, it's a funny Growlithe. Nope, it's Vulpix now. So we got all the Vulpix here. Uh, it's gonna do a bit of chip damage to it. Make it a tiny bit easier. Can I put it to sleep for once? Oh. Okay. Well, you just saw there was Roar. Roar ends the battle instantly, so I'll be back with another Vulpix, I guess. Another Vulpix. Let's see what we can do here. That's a female this time. Vulpix is like one I've always wanted to use. I just never had the right version to actually end up using it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I always got like hard gold or fire red, and so I never will to use it. So I mean, it's always something I've been interested in. Hey, that was a lot easier. That that was so much easier. Gosh dang it. How come I been the first one I found? Whatever. Vulpix is it. It was added to the Pokedex. Howdy job! When it is born, it is just one snow white tail. The tail splits from his tip as it grows older. That's pretty cool, actually. Vulpix is just cool in general. I like it. Okay. Now we got our Vulpix here. Uh, the high was not putting that. <laughs> okay. We should be informed. You need a strategy to win at this. Or I just need a really strong blast voice. One of the two. I'm gonna go with the second one because I have that. So, yeah. Enjoy my blast voice. Haha, <laughs> I win. Because no one ever expects to see a blast voice this early on. They're like, ah, we're fine. Oh, that's blast voice. Never mind. Not fine anymore. And then they get fainted, and it's hilarious. I love Bimok, or Pymok, by Grimer, as I said. Hi, Mok, have a water pulse. And then I clean away the sludge. What happened if you just, like, sprayed them up with tons of water? What, what gets left afterwards? Like, is this just uh, uh, nothing? Or what, is it like the eyes and the mouth to stay there floating? That'd be kind of odd. 739 experience points, no way! I have so many good stats. I'm such a defensive wall, it's ridiculous. And Blastoise does that, it's pretty awesome. And a Grimer again. I have a Muck and two Grimers. I guess you could technically have three Mucks. I feel like that Muck is an illegal evolution again. The game likes to do that a lot for whatever reason, but whatever. Well, why does I just always have Poison type Pokemon? Like, Poison types are like the electric types. It's kind of odd, but whatever. It's not logical! I know it's not logical, but it works. Like, it's a really bad idea, to be honest, but I'm doing it anyway. Yay! Wait a second. Talk with our twin powers. Is it double battle? Please be double battle. Be double battle. Fuck. Double battle. Yay! Double battle! Whoa! Elliot and White to battle. Clefairy and a Jigglypuff. Question is, which one do I want to kill first? I'm gonna go for... Talk about the Clefairy. I'm gonna switch over and hope that Shijing just doesn't die. That's my goal. I want Shijing to get some experience and level up, because that'd be kind of funny, honestly. Lopex! Okay, I was gonna hit you anyway, but whatever. Okay. Bye, Clefairy. <laughs> Thanks for not helping me target you even better. Whatever. Clefairy down. Yay. She didn't get so much experience, my gosh. Level 8! Because being traded and stuff. Pound, why would you target me? You're not very bright, are you? Whatever. Goodbye, Jigglypuff. I didn't even have to switch out, but I did, just to be safe. Whatever. Critical hit. Yay, experience. Shing. Oh, Shing doesn't level up. I'm sad. I was hoping to level up. That'd be kind of funny. Our twin power got wrecked by a Blastoise. A high. Um. See, how do we assign this? School is fun. Let's start Pokemon. Sure, that's why you're lined up with three other girls. You're totally waiting here for some sort of school experiment. Super Nerd Leslie is on a topic. Okay. Normally, Leslie's a girl name. But, we'll, we'll let you slide, I suppose. You're kind of an odd fellow. So, you know. 
I suppose you can be named Lesbian Indian guy, but whatever. You made it clear to me that I should stick with school. Yes, you should. You definitely should. And will you come at me? Yep. I'm gonna spread this a lot apart, as far apart as physically possible. You must look silly standing here like this. Y you really do. Like, why are you doing this? Is there a reason behind it? Or are you guys just weird? And find out soon. Last Megan, we we'll like the battle. It, why do you have five Pokemon? Just why? I guess I shouldn't be surprised that in a normal game you would have five Pokemon at this point, assumedly, and have like an actual team built. I think I had four last time I played, because I just got a Growlithe, but you know. Whatever. Pikachu! That's uh, a flip of Pikachu. Hi, Pikachu. You know what? Water Pulse. I don't want to get like static or whatever, or be paralyzed. To make things easier, I'm just going to hit it with the Water Pulse. Problem solved. I'm going to move this point, just Water Pulse. If I got an issue, Water Pulse. Don't want to stay battle for long, Water Pulse. Type counter, counter, water balls. Pretty much my answer. It shouldn't be all the time, but I mean, it works, so I just go with it. And I'm for how to give so little experience. I uh, don't want to get poisoned, water balls. It's, it's, it's just a simple answer in life. See, so I just use that and buy another end. You should be evolved, buddy. I mean, come on. You could be a mid arena or mid arena. I forget. I mixed up the second stage because they're both similar. It's, like, it's literally an O or an A. I don't know which is which. And there's probably a way to figure it out, but I usually, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm too lazy to figure it out. Or just to think over it long enough to have, a way, have it memorized. So whatever. 35, last Megan. Look what he did to my poor cute Pokemon. When you're the one that wanted to battle. It's not my fault, you're the one that ran at me. Okay, let's go to this side. Oh, I can move over like one space or two. Dang it. I like Nidoran, so I collect them. Which kind of Nidoran? All of them? I'm gonna assume all of them. Uh, Nidoran, female. Okay. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna water bolt it, and then not worry about being poisoned. Okay, that, that was easy enough. Okay, what's next? Oh, what do we got? Nidorina. Is it female? It is female! Yay! So Nidorina is female, Nidorina is male. Okay. Don't get why you're supposed, how you're supposed to remember that, but we'll go with it. <laughs> I always forget. Put it last page. Why? Why? Because it's a Pokemon battle, and I'm better than you. Get over it. Hello. Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. Are you with Meowth too now, or are you just like some weird, crazy cat lady? You're the crazy old cat lady. <gasps> I knew it. Boss on and Andrea would like the battle. I'm Meowth. So everyone here has had... So it's been like progressing almost. We have a one, and then we had a two, and then a five, and a three. So I mean, that's kind of irritating, but whatever. This person with five Pokemon got chipped the most level-wise, at least. Like she had the lowest level Pokemon just because she has more. So gotta program it that way. Otherwise, you're gonna get overwhelmed, and that would suck. But they're so much more fun. Like there's like a hardcore version of Pokemon where like you're just constantly out that over leveled, and it's just hard. But they, they tried to implement it, and I think it was Black and White too. We had like a Super Mario, whatever you can play afterwards, which I think was a lot of fun. But, you know. It's just like an option to get go. It made it interesting. It was, it was a more interesting way to play, and allowed you to like, actually have to stick on your feet more and have like a good, competent team that could battle stuff. So, there goes a pig mohawk! Who are you? You're the way I'll run you down. That's a bit harsh. But you're, you're on a bike. That makes sense now. Your mohawk's not pink. You lied to me. Tucker Jaren would like to battle. Grimer! Hello, Grimer. No way I say to Grimer, I'm gonna punch you in the, in the muck stuff you have. Goop? Slime? What, what would it be? I guess it's slime? I don't know. Purple slime. <sighs> Grimer again. Why am I yawning? I just woke up. <clears throat> I just need to yawn. I'm not tired. Yeah, we just had daylight savings, which is always a fun thing. Kinda love daylight savings. Extra hour of sleep. So what do you with that extra hour, hour of sleep? I sit up an hour later playing video games. Not even kidding. Yep, aren't I awesome? We wish you were that awesome. <gasps> Other biker. Oh, he was around me. Okay. I was like in your line of sight. You didn't want to battle me? Wow. I guess bikers have a hard time registering you, but whatever. The bike's acting up, man. It's just going in circles. I think it is acting up. So is that your fault or the bike's fault? That's the true question. Biker Ricardo would like to battle. A coffin. Coffin, coffin. I told the boys all the Pokemon in this game, because why not? Punch the ghost bag, or gas bag in the face. I almost said ghost bag, I was thinking, I was thinking lavender town still. No, gas bag in the face. 
Level 47, yeah! Level 47. So much HP, my gosh. See, I want to get the EXP share soon, so I can start, like, leveling everything else I have on my team. And by team, I mean for playing the Pokédex. So I need to evolve some eventually, and I don't want to sit here and grind forever eventually. Which I'll have to do, regardless. But, I'd rather, like, level something up while I'm traveling. Which we can do soon-ish. Not really. But whatever. Grabber! Another one! We're finding so many poison types here suddenly out of nowhere. I haven't catch them for a while still. I don't know why they're showing up now. But whatever. 404 to experience points. No way! Oh man, I'm not into this. Blood losing? Yeah, just gonna just suck. Go there on your bike forever now. Uh, old dude. I'm gonna battle you. Give me money. Alright, let's play a game. I'm down for a game. I love games. Games are fun. Gamers stand. We like to battle. Hello, Poliwag. Poliwag. I need to get one of those eventually. Which I, I, I still can't because I don't have a fishing rod that can catch them yet. Or I, I actually I think you need to surf for Poliwag, so can't do that yet. It was unfortunate, but you know, whatever. So be it. Another one! Bite his head off. Yay. It's so swirly and confusing. It's trying to hypnotize you. Poliwag, I think that, I think that's the one I actually need. Because I need to trade that for a Jinx. I don't do all that often. I forget that it's a trade in the game. And it's not that easy. Like, it's not that easily accessible. Like you can't have a Jinx by that point or a Poliwhirl by that point in the game. So I always forget about it. So yeah, Drac came up short. All the money. Yeah, the shortcut back over that way if you really want to use it. Yeah, one more trainer right here. Hello. Look good at Pokemon, but how's your chemistry grade? I never took chemistry actually. Believe it or not, I actually didn't have a science class my senior year of high school. I took so many science lectures I didn't need the credit. So that was pretty interesting. Science can be so much fun. All things you learn, like, I did, I don't know, I did lots of stuff. I did some psychology classes, which kind of did science. I did marine biology. I did uh, physics. That was fun. Physics was really interesting. Like, I don't know, it's definitely a fun class. I definitely suggest, like, looking into some science classes, because they're always really neat stuff you can learn. So, yeah. Bit of trivia there for you. Science is fun. That's totally trivia, right? Yeah, right. So, whatever. More experience with beating up a Magnemite. A Volter, you think electric types, come on. Making this too easy for me. And Water Pulse. Problem solved. Okay, bye Voltorb. What is the guy next? Hey, Coffin! Coffin, Coffin. Another Water Pulse. And Coffin is gone. Okay. I'm running low on Water Pulse. This is my go-to move. Give a look at other stuff, I think to use water balls. Super Nerd Aiden. Ow, meltdown. Sucks to be you. Alright. Well, then that's this region, guys. I'm gonna find out next part. Which door should I go through? Should I go through this one over here or this one up here? I don't know. Tune in next time to find out, guys. Alright. See you then. Bye.